my own personal trainer wherever I go. And of course, my best friend. Yeah. Wow, that's great. So, a uh, personal trainer? Hey. Well, no, the, the only event for me are my classes. Yeah, but I've been training in self-defense. I heard about the weird stuff. Oh, oh. werewolves? And I think they're real. I know. Isn't tonight a full moon? Oh! Full moon. Why would that matter? Well, according to legend, that is when a, a werewolf transforms uh, during a full moon. If you believe that kind of thing. Oh! <laughs> what will people think of next? I have a tough time keeping up with my cornfields. And ladies, who has time for to be gallivanting around as where oh, uh, wolves? Oh! I know that. You just howled. I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Uh huh. Uh. Okay, for the, for the for the sake of argument, I did hear a a, a wolf howling outside the studio. <gasps> See? <laughs> oh, you guys. Oh. Oh, the gooeys. Dude. I didn't do it. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. <clears throat> so, could you guys just cool it? Um, it's my cataplexy. I, I'm sorry. I, I just have to ask you guys, please. Um, when you get a strong emotion, it, it just really affects me. See, I bet it was all your howling. I wasn't howling. Yeah, dude, you were. <laughs> okay. Well, while those two argue with each other, let's get on to our next guest, shall we? Okay. Let's welcome my Uncle Teasy. Hey. Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Oh, hello, hello, hello. We were talking to the audience about werewolves, and I remember you telling me stories about uh, when you used to set, uh, you used to go hunting and set these animal traps, or some kind of big traps for, you said, some kind of strange big animal uh, when you were young. Oh, oui. Oh. Mm. Big traps. Big traps. Uh, oui. We get them. We. We got them which means a uh, wolf or werewolf, right? Werewolf. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Um, no, no adobo. Um, for those of you that don't know, adobo is a really tasty, tasty dish. Sometimes you can put, you know, meat, chicken, you can use pork, seafood, but you mix it with vegetables and some amazing spices. It's just, it's like a, an island stew kind of thing. It's, it's just so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no double. Mm -hmm. Go to Pugong. Oh. No, uh, I'm sorry, no, no bugong. Um, again, for those of you that don't know, bugong, it's, um, it's kind of like a rotted, well, <laughs> fermented uh, shrimp, it's a shrimp kind of sauce. Oh! It's, oh! 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 Mmm, mmm, candy. Mmm, my box your ears. Mmm. I'm sorry, don't, don't get upset, please. Sit, sit back down. 
Will someone go, uh, someone in the studio go and, and get some bagong and rice, please? Just run down to the, yeah, just down the street there's a place, yeah. <sighs> Great, thank you. Um, we'll get it. Yeah, yeah, we'll get it. Okay, just, just, uh, it'll be just a few minutes, okay? Sorry, folks, and just a little, little heads up there. Hospitality is extremely important. And in the Filipino culture, it's it's essential to be a very good host and, you know, food. You know, uh, Filipino island, island philosophy is life is all about eating, drinking, and music, and just loving, you know, loving life. <laughs> so, um, so, for the rest of the audience, what we'll do is we're, we're also going to be setting up a buffet after the show. So anyone interested, uh, just stay after the show and we'll line up and we'll all just have a little something to eat. Yeah? Okay. I'm starved. I'll stay for a snack. Boy, that smells good. Uh, food's not quite here yet. They're still setting up. Uh, what's my new, my new cologne? Oh, yo. Yo. Yo, you need it. Well, thanks. I, I've been dieting. I'm trying to get in shape, you know. Yeah, I'll, I'll try some Filipino food. Sounds interesting. Yeah.